Sometimes I feel like Murphy's Law is out to get me. It seems as if anything that can go wrong does. When I have one of those days, I prefer being reminded that some people experience epic fails far worse than what I'm experiencing. This guy got himself into a rather prickly situation. I like the way the guys just stand there as if to say, you're on your own buddy. Imagine ordering a super cheesy pizza and just as you're about to open up, it looks like this, a slice of disappointment. Sometimes I have a dumb moment and walk into something, at which point I usually insist the object attacked me to spare my dignity. For this guy, however, the claim is actually true. He's just standing here, clearly showing this lovely recliner to a customer when the foutress pops out and hits him in the face. Let's hope his employer's medical plan covers that. If you are clumsy, don't get a job at an egg warehouse. If you do, this is a scene that will probably happen. There's no hiding that one from the boss. Whenever people ask me why I'm not that into cats, I just show them this video. You feed them, you give them a home, and they repay you like this. Look at this cautious guy. He really didn't want to risk his wiper being broken off in the car wash. Shame, he now has no door. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Good luck reloading all those shopping carts, fellas. This one is fantastic. Keep your eye on that guy behind the heavy wheelbarrow, filled with manure, and he pauses to soak it all up. Golf isn't a notoriously dangerous ball game, unless the golf ball isn't the only ball that's going to be hit when you play. Check out this guy who unintentionally performs a jackass-worthy stunt. You got to love the reaction in the background there. I'm not much of a morning person, so I can understand how hard it is to read labels and figure out what you're doing when you're still half asleep. I would think, however, I'd notice that my toothpaste didn't taste as minty as usual when brushing with diaper rash cream. What a rash decision. But hey, at least this person wouldn't have itchy teeth for the rest of the day. Automated garbage collection. Sounds good, doesn't work. Case in point, this beautiful incident. It's important to read the label before pouring on that shampoo. To be fair, Nair and Hair kind of do look alike, and Nair and Shampoo are both hair products except that one is designed to remove hair. Unfortunately, this girl didn't realize that when she shampooed with Nair. Bamboo vaulting? Sounds strange, but seeing someone doing it before you is encouraging. Just make sure you pick the right side of the stick. This picture depicts the day when nothing goes right pretty accurately. The sandwich gets stuck so you just buy a drink to knock it loose, and then that gets stuck too. I'm not exactly paranoid, but this does make me think that the machine is designed to be too small so it can cheat people out of their change. It sure would suck if you're just trying to clean your clothes and then they just set on fire. That's what happened to this unlucky person when their dryer set ablaze. Just make sure to empty out your dry lint every now and then so this doesn't happen to you. After having a difficult day, some people like to relax with the comforting carbs of a spaghetti dinner. Unfortunately, the only person enjoying the tomato sauce in this exhausted woman's home is, well, the cat. Did Fluffy have something to do with this mess? Or was this just a happy accident for this human's feline friend? I don't know, but the two-legged person in this photo is definitely having a worse day than me. On the other hand, at least the cook in the last picture didn't try to eat the spaghetti and drive. Apparently, this is what happens when you try to wind spaghetti around a fork whilst turning a steering wheel. Unfortunately, this young woman wasn't using her head when she decided to stick it through the bars of this ceiling support. I mean, explaining how it happened to the firefighters must have been almost as uncomfortable as getting her head stuck in there in the first place. I'll admit, I've made a few mistakes while driving. Who hasn't? But sadly, this truck driver had a really bad day when he attempted to make a turn going a little too fast. Okay, way too fast. The top heavy load in the back flipped the truck spilling debris all over the highway. I can't even imagine trying to explain how this one happened to the boss. Here's another truck driver who also had a bad day when he failed to stop in time for an ODOT flagger. The worst part is that he was driving with a semi-truck loaded with hackfish or slime eels, so-called because when they get stressed, they secrete a slimy substance. When the driver couldn't stop, one of the containers spilled, spewing slime eels all over the highway. The other container soon toppled and the flap separated from the truck frame leaving the highway and nearby cars covered in slimy eels. This poor safari adventurer was just laying down and enjoying the book when he was approached by a lion. Worse, the large predator is between him and his handy rifle. Yoga is a great way to relieve stress after a difficult day. It's just too bad this elephant decided to practice the downward dog right over another safari goer's car. 
I can't even imagine trying to explain that an elephant crushed my car by stretching over it to the insurance company. I'll admit, I've had a few bad decisions in my life, but at least I never stuck my head in a tree and startled a porcupine. Like this young man, I bet his friends will needle him about this mistake for a while. Here's a purse snatcher whose day didn't go according to plan either. This would be Robert apparently thought it would be easy to snatch a woman's purse. He even had a helmet. Things were almost going well for him, but his luck ended when the intended victim fought back, refusing to relinquish the purse, and ultimately beating him up. Seriously, don't steal from people with mad ninja skills. No matter how much I insist, you don't need to ask the GPS for directions. Occasionally, I still get lost, but at least I never got so lost. I tried to drive up a down to utility line. I can only hope the driver didn't get a shock in more ways than one. Sometimes protesting can be a pain. Thierry Duval is a paraglider who decided he wanted to land either on or near the Statue of Liberty, so he could protest about landmines. However, his parachute snagged on the statue, and he ended up dangling in the air until rescuers, well, liberated him. Way to bomb a protest about mines. Kids have bad days too. This little girl clearly started out thinking she was going to prepare some food in the kitchen. Apparently, something went very wrong, but I give her props for at least trying to clean it up. Her parents are probably still having a worse day than you or me. This picture really doesn't need much of an explanation. If someone's crying in a soiled wedding gown on public transport, they're probably having a worse day than any of the other passengers, not to mention you. DI painting projects can be a lot of fun. Well, for some people they are. For this, do-it-yourselfer. The painting job ended before they even got home with the paint though I'm pretty sure they didn't intend to do such an extreme makeover on the backseat of their car. And here's one I think we can all relate to, the take a number and never hear from us again system. This person patiently waited for their order, received in hand, only to find people who arrived later had already been served, and they have the nerve to call that fast food. Have you ever had a worse day than any of the people in this video? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it like. Thanks for watching.